my oldest child, my daughter Lexi, is going to come on up front and she is going to read to you her own words of what God has done in her life. Could you give her a hand as she comes on up front? Hey, Lexi. Hi. How are you feeling? Kind of nervous. We'll see if this mic's working. I think it was working okay when we stood over here. All right. You want to read this? Okay. All right. Nice and loud for us. I went to Lake Ann Camp, and we did chapel every day. I learned a lot of great things. I learned I want to be closer to God now that I know more about him, and I really know what baptism means. If you ask to get saved, you're on God's side. But in baptism, you're showing everyone publicly that I'm a Christian, that Jesus saved me, and I want you all to know that. I believe that Jesus forgives me of my sins and that he lets me be a part of his kingdom and go to heaven. You want to know Jesus because he gives you eternal life and you go to heaven after you die and being God's friend is the best thing ever. And I really want other people to make that decision. I've always thought that you need a big story, a big thing in your life that changed and now you want to be baptized. I've heard other people's stories and they are pretty amazing. I don't have a story like that, so I didn't think I could be baptized. And now I realize I don't need a story like that. I just want to be baptized because I want to show everyone that I'm a Christian and that I follow Jesus, and I want to encourage everyone that they should do that too. Amen. Amen. All right. We got the water as warm as we could for starting at eight. We, we said it, it's adjacent to warm, is what were Mario's words. If you ever need optimism, just talk to Mario. Um, so Lexi, come on over here. And could I get a hand, uh, Tom? Just help me get this off here. It's gonna be great. Oh, it's real warm now. It's like real warm. This is excellent. This is like bathtub temperature. This is what we want. Praise God. Praise God that she's not gonna um, turn into a popsicle. All right. Oh, do you hear that? That was nice, Abiel. All right, Lexi, we're going to put you in here. It really is warm. I'm not, it feels very nice. Come on in. All right. Now you're going to sit down, put your legs out that way. Okay. All right. Lexi, have you put your faith in Jesus to forgive you of your sins and have you committed to follow him as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you want to show that today publicly through baptism? Yes. Then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in his death and raised with him in his resurrection. You tell. Can I give you a hug? I love you, buddy. Good job. Can go over there with mom. <laughs> oh, I love the I love the extra commentary. It's like uh, John Madden over there. All right, Bree. Here she comes. All right, here she comes. All right, we're going to have you come over here, Bree. All right, you're ready. This mic's working best over here, okay. so I'm going to have a stand over here. You guys can all see her okay? All right. Test one, two. You want to hold that? Mm -hmm. All right, great. Um, hello, my name is Bree. Um, without God, I would have no guidance. I would have low self-esteem and truly feel abandoned. God is who I talk to about how I feel and what I'm going through. God is there for me and provides for me. When I didn't have God in my life, I felt like I was looking for that guidance in anyone. And sometimes people would lead me down the wrong way. That's how I ended up getting a nicotine addiction. Um, it leads to worse and worse things as you get further. I felt like it was super lonely during that time away from God, but now I have a group of people who I can always talk to. It's comforting and it's not stressful. Sorry. 
I believe Jesus is Lord, and this is what I have to do to believe to be saved. I believe in the power of repentance and God's forgiveness. I really am sorry for the things that I've done in my past, and God has changed me for the better. And baptism is one of those ways that I can step forward and show that. I have learned that love is patient and more kind. I didn't have a dad growing up, so this is the um, relationship that I have with God. It's the closest thing that I've ever had towards a father. Um, it's peaceful and comforting. If you aren't a believer in Jesus, I want you to know that it truly lifts a burden off your chest. You can feel like you have a weight on the world on your shoulders all the time. This can create anxiety and depression. And when you give this to the Lord, it really helps. He will take you out of dark spots, guaranteed. Amen. Thank you. All right, Bree. Come on over. All right, same thing. You're going to get on on this side. You put your feet down this way. And then sit back here. Yeah, it's deeper on this side because the parking lot is slanted. So, <laughs> you okay? Yeah. All right, Bree, uh -huh. have you put your faith in Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins? <laughs> yeah. And you've committed to follow him for your whole life? Yeah. And you want to show that today publicly through baptism? Uh -huh then it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in death and raised with him in resurrection. Amen. Put that towel around you. Congratulations. Amen. Praise God.